I was really, really excited because obviously everybody had seen the uh, outs uh, on television, magazines, newspapers, etc. But it's only when you get here and you see the grandeur of, of the actual uh, range itself. Please place smaller items such as handbags, laptop bags, and duty free items underneath the seat in the center. So we just arrived in Le Mammot campsite in um, Chamonix and this is where we're going to stay for the next uh, five days. Uh, this is a quick tour of everything. Um, here are the outside toilets. And then the washrooms. Where's it heating up? Here are the tents. And this is where we have our meetings and for the namaz. And you can see the boys already laid out the lunch for the day. It looks really good. Hikes have been a bit more challenging than last year in, oh. in, in that we've got a lot more snow on the mountains uh, as opposed to last year. Now we're just uh, hiking to a route um, and we just, it's been about 10-15 minutes and feeling brilliant, yeah, loving it. Cool. Catch up with you later. Exactly. And now it's really, really hot. We're seeing a lot of different terrains, a lot of different weathers. It's a beautiful experience. Coming here, taking photos of it, just does not do justice to the actual scale of the mountain. It's quite a humbling experience because you're so insignificant and you feel that when you're hiking up and then all of a sudden out of the mist it comes the most majestic mountain range so this is this is not just about uh, you know conquering or, or overcoming hurdles this is about personal realization and, and spiritualization uh, that you actually start wondering uh, about the universe and the world and how it is created and the creator <laughs> Uh, we're about an hour along our trek, uh, just coming down from the highest point. Uh, sorry, this is one of the second highest points in the, in the range. Uh, the weather's turned really nice now, so everyone's taking their jackets off uh, so they don't overheat and dehydrate. Two words only. I'm feeling absolutely amazing so that's that's more than for two hard words, <laughs> It's more than two words, two words. <laughs> I can't, do, I can't do it in two words, man. Chinese, sir. Two words, how are you enjoying it? Enjoying it. That's true, right? Static. Enjoying it, yeah. So, welcome. This is uh, day three of the Alps Exhibition 2013. We're here at the um, bus stop to go to Chamonix. Um, it's been amazing. We woke up today for Fudger at 4 o'clock and um, went to sleep, and now we're back up. Uh, ready to go on to the cable car, um, all the way to the top of Snowdon, which is like something like 3,800 meters. Um, the air is really super thin up there, and it's about 15,000 feet. So the bus is here. Um, so we'll catch you, catch up with you guys later. Good luck. Um, really pretty good actually. So we've done uh, two days of hiking. This is the third day. Um, it's been tough, you know, camping out. But Alhamdulillah, we're feeling fresh, ready for the new day, ready for another challenge, ready for another hike. Um, yeah. Like we had a bit of a rush this morning, so that's why we're just uh, taking a couple of minutes while we have time in the queue uh, before the appeal really uh, to get our final preparations done. Looking forward to today a lot. Yeah. Today likewise. should be the highlight of the trip. It's likewise, likewise. We see, we see this point from our campsite every single day, and every time we look at it, it's breathtaking. So to be actually up there, it's, it's going to be it's going to be amazing. Assalamualaikum. As Jil Dumidi just arrived in the cable car, F 15 of us. We're now, you can see the whole mountain range of the Alps here. We're basically at 3,842 meters. So we can see the tops of every mountain. 
and as you can see there's hikers or so and so not hikers climbers going down the mountain down there Yeah, and Lily just fell. That's how steep you are. This guy's sliding down. Come on! Mountain range, as you can see. And I'm about to do my slide. Ready? One, two, three. Woo! Woo! This is the first time hiking. It's just mad. It's actually mad. Like usually people go and do preparation. They go to Snowdon, they go to Ben Nevis and they do other things. But for me, this is the first time hiking. It's in, in the first time it's straight into the Alps. I thought I, I was really scared at the beginning. I was really scared. I thought it was going to be difficult. I, had, I come straight from an injury. But um, Alhamdulillah, everything's going really well. Enjoyed all the views. And as you can see right behind me, it's just incredible. All the views behind me are incredible. And the views you saw in the mountain as well. Today, unfortunately, we are. We were surrounded by clouds, so we didn't get to see the grandeur of Allah's beauty, but you know, we've still got a lot more to go. The food's great, the people here are great, made some, made some good friends, already had some good friends here, so Alhamdulillah, everything's going really great. So we had another medical episode uh, coming down the mountain and this time it's uh, Farhad, he's blown what looks like his left gastrocnemius insertion into the popliteal fossa with exquisite tenderness. Uh, we've treated it with uh, some arnica, tree, uh, arnica cream um, and uh, now we're checking whether he can mobilise on that leg or not. There's still quite a way down so uh, we'll see how this problem evolves. Just slipped on the rock um, of walking because I had hay fever in the morning. Yeah. I took a pill which sort of subsidized it, but it was yeah. causing me drowsiness. Yeah. And uh, I sort of started feeling a bit limpy and then I just sort of slipped yeah. on the edge of the rock. And it's behind my shin, which is causing me a little pain. And it's on our way down, the last day of the hike. Inshallah, we'll make our plane in time because. A lot of people are missing home, a lot of people are missing families, but seriously, this has probably been the best thing I've ever done in my life. Climbing the mountain, probably the most tiring thing I've done in my life, but probably the best thing I've done in my life. It's just too beautiful. I've, you know, I feel fit, feel healthy. The hikes are quite tiring at times, but it's a good workout. When you get to the top, the achievement is absolutely amazing. Nothing tops that. Um, so. To be honest, when you come down the shower, you all relax it and you're having your lunch and whatever. It's just so good. And plus the photography and the images that we have captured. Um, you know, we, we've been skimming through it so far. It's amazing. Um, and also the people that we're here, we're here as brothers and, you know, we're praying five times a day. There's nothing on our mind when we're praying. It's just empty minds, thinking about God, His creation, um, nature all around us, which again is beautiful. You don't really get that when you're you know, living, for example, I'm in London, the city life is all packed and congested and, you know, come out here, it's all peaceful. Viva la France! Viva la France! Viva la France! The bus has now come and we're getting uh, all the stuff onto the bus now. So hopefully we'll be leaving in about 20 minutes. Um, everyone's sad to leave the Alps, even though after the five hard days, but we're ready to go now, back to London. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board. This is a test flight, so we'll be departing for London Gatwick. 
Alhamdulillah, I just landed back in London. That's a successful trip done. Now we're just going to head off to Battle for Door and uh, say our final goodbyes and be off to our home. This is the end of the Alps expedition 2013, but uh, it's also the beginning of another journey. And in the future, I really look forward to coming again with the hiking club and looking forward to some really good adventures. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi uh, Alhamdulillah, the Alps hiking team, team has just arrived back at Gatwick after a five-day uh, strenuous grueling trek uh, in the French Alps on the Mont Blanc Massif. Uh, it's been quite a unique experience. Else? The lads have worked very, very hard. They've raised thousands of pounds for the Shout Foundation. And it's been a great experience for everybody. Uh, hopefully this video shows um, some a taste of what we experienced um, in Gene in uh, Switzerland and France and hopefully Mokodam will be inspired to come next year on um, Alps on the in the Alps expedition or on whatever hikes that we do. Three, two, one, go. Day five, last day. Day six. Day six. <laughs> day six, last day. So it's day four. Day four? Day three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, we're here on day six, five. Is it day five or six? Six. Huh? Six. Seven. Okay, we're on day day six. Um, but I'll check that, I'll let you know later. We live. Breathing okay? Yeah, I'm perfectly fine. Just my throat. Just, are you sure it's not epiglottitis? No. Yeah, for you. We haven't got an ENT surgeon here, an anesthetist. Oh. Yeah, we, you haven't got an intubation here, We can create one. <laughs> 3D! Not 3D. Is it 3D? No. Panorama. <laughs> Panorama. <laughs> Um, I think it's uh, 3,000 meters we've made. It's the highest kid in Kyle. Look at the love I'm getting for the brothers. Go. Okay. Everyone go on toilet? No, that's not. Hold that steady. Man, you, you got the worst. And I got it. You'll be fair. Yeah, but it's you been a really good quiet. trip all over. I definitely recommend people considering coming. Definitely, uh, definitely going to uh, come back next year. Um, <laughs> it's been really, 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 really you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thinking. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> 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 